Last year I made a video showing off a couple of hidden features found within Oxygen OS. A lot of you really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd make the same type of video for my Samsung fans out there. So sit back, grab your Galaxy device, and let me show you some One UI hidden features that you never knew about. By the way, this software is extremely feature packed, so if you know any more hidden features that weren't discussed in this video, feel free to share it with us in the comments down below. The first hidden feature is the ability to freeze apps that you barely use or open. This feature is found within the settings, device care, battery, app power management, enable put unused apps to sleep, and then within the sleeping apps menu, every app that you barely use will be automatically added to this list. Sleeping apps won't ever be able to run in the background, they may never receive updates or send you notifications. If you want, you can also manually add apps or remove them by long pressing them. I personally just added apps that consume a ton of data or use up a ton of memory in the background. Any apps that are on this list can still be opened and used, but they won't ever have any background activity. The next hidden feature is found within the same section. Just go back to the battery menu and jump into power mode. Here you will see various modes that you can enable. It should automatically be set to optimize. But I also enabled the bottom setting called adaptive power saving to save even more battery life. This option will learn how you use your phone and based on your usage patterns, it will automatically switch between the different power modes. So when you need high performance, it will know and when you don't need to use that much power, the performance will be lowered a bit to save you a bit of juice. One of the great things about One UI is how feature packed and customizable the always on display is. But there's also a hidden trick that not many people know about. In the settings, search up clock style and then select always on display. From there, scroll to the style that is two boxes away from the calendar then tap on the plus icon and you'll be able to add any image or GIF from your gallery. You can also choose a GIF that Samsung already included. And lastly, if you tap on the next box over, this clock style will show you any upcoming calendar events and you're always on display. Next up is a way to temporarily hide all your notifications on the lock screen and disable all your biometric unlocking methods just by enabling an extra button in the power menu. It's called lockdown mode and within any screen, including the lock screen, you can jump into the power menu, toggle it, and your phone will lock itself and hide all your notifications. Once you unlock the phone, everything goes back to normal. It's just a great way to quickly hide your notifications so you don't get distracted or to hide them from nosy people. You can find this feature by going to the settings, lock screen, secure lock settings, input your password, and then enabling show lockdown option. Now before I show off even more hidden features found within One UI, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, easy videos to follow, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth in your life. I experienced a ton of growth by using Skillshare's platform to learn how to code better in various different programming languages since I am pursuing a computer science degree at a university. For example, they have some fantastic web development programs. One of my favorite was the JavaScript Toolkit, Write Cleaner, Faster, and Better Code. It's by Christian Hellman. This class taught me the basics of coding in JavaScript and all the techniques every developer should know to code a lot faster. But they also offer thousands of other classes for creative and curious people on topics such as illustration, design, photography, video production, productivity courses, and more. Most of their classes are under 60 minutes, so you can learn something quickly and it won't interrupt your schedule that much. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. And guess what? The first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get two free months of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So if you want to learn something new this year, check out Skillshare through the link in the description. Anyways, back to the fifth hidden One UI feature. For those who want an extra way of getting notified when they receive a notification, a phone call, or when the alarm sounds, you can have your flashlight turn into an LED notifier. Just search up flash notification in the settings and enable camera flash. You can even make your screen flash brightly. Samsung has an app called My Files, and aside from showing you everything on your phone storage, it also lets you free up space quickly. There's a feature called Analyze Storage, and from there, it will let you delete duplicate files, it will show you your biggest files that are taking up space and show you old files that haven't been opened in weeks or months. Files by Google may be a bit more powerful, but if you don't want to download an extra app, you always have this option. One of my favorite features about One UI is how easy it is to hide and encrypt sensitive data. They have an app called Secure Folder, which can be enabled by going to the settings, Biometric and Security, Secure Folder, and from there, you'll just need to follow the on-screen instructions to get it working. The app can be found within your app drawer, and once you open it up, you can hide any file, picture, video, contact, apps, and more. 
So if your Samsung phone somehow gets a malicious attack, any information within secure folder will never be exposed. If you use Snapchat, Facebook, or Skype, then you know that you can't use multiple accounts at the same time without signing out first. It's really annoying, but One UI has a feature called Dual Messenger, which lets you duplicate all of these apps so you can quickly switch between accounts right from your app drawer. You can even have a separate list of contacts to show up in your secondary apps. You can find this in a feature by searching Dual Messenger in the settings. If you like to keep your screen timeout at just 15 to 30 seconds, then I recommend you enable a smart stay so that the screen stays on while you're looking at it. This is perfect for when you're reading an article and not touching the screen, and the display turns off quickly. Smart Stay keeps your screen on by using the front facing camera to look at your face. You can find this feature by searching Smart Stay in the settings. Recently, Samsung just updated One UI to version 2.0, and with this update, a ton of new features arrived. One of my favorites is the built in screen recorder. To enable it, just look for a new tile in the Quick Settings panel called Screen Recorder. Once you tap it, a menu will pop up for the sound settings, and once you hit Start Recording, you'll see a floating menu. From there, you can choose the pen to draw over the screen or enable the front camera while you're recording for live commentary. Once you're done, you can tap the stop button and the video can be found in your gallery. Long pressing the tile will bring up the screen recorder settings. It's very straightforward and implemented nicely. Anyways, those are my top 10 hidden features found within One UI. If you really want to take your Samsung phone to the next level, I recommend you also download GoodLock 2020 from the Galaxy Store. This app will allow you to customize a ton of system settings, including the lock screen, Recent menu, clock face, sound profiles, and more. I recently made a video reviewing the new Good Luck 2020 update, so click that eye in the top right corner if you're interested in watching that. If you want to customize One UI to the extreme, then there are a couple of apps that let you do that, such as Hex Installer, Synergy, Package Disabler Pro, and more. I made a video called Extremely Customized Samsung One UI, where I go over all these apps in detail. Click that eye again in the right corner if you want to learn more. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a thumbs up if you did. Get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Don't forget to check out Skillshare through the link in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!